In this video, I'm going to go over how to use your gimbal to edit a moving split screen. What is the quadratic formula, you might ask? Well, polynomial functions with one or more variables in which the highest term is of the second degree. But first, let's talk basics. Perhaps the simplest example of a split screen is having a duplicate version of someone in the same frame. This is achieved by first shooting your entire scene with just one person, and then filming the whole scene again but with the other person. In post, drag one clip on top of the other and use a mask to separate the clips. To blend the two clips together better, try to line up the mask with lines in frame, such as a doorway or a window. You can also feather the mask and increase the fallout if needed. Now, this method works 90% of the time as long as your subjects don't cross in front of each other and your tripod doesn't get bumped. We should have a montage of Arlo running into things. <laughs> but what if you want to add some movement to your shot? If you only need a slight dolly in or out, this can be achieved by creating a compound clip and keyframing a zoom in or out. But if it requires any panning or complex movements, we're going to have to do this in camera. For this, you're going to need a gimbal or a motion control rig. The cheapest option at the time of this recording is the DJI Ronin SC, which will set you back about $375, but it's entirely worth it. Not only does this thing give you access to motion control, but it smooths out all your shots. I'll leave a link in the description to the official DJI website where you can purchase one for yourself. Not sponsored. Yet. In the Ronin app, tap create, then track. From here you can set up a number of tracking points, and once you press record the camera will automatically move to follow the designated marks. This way you can have the camera move in the exact same way, at the exact same speed, every single time. So you can film both sides of your split screen as normal without having to worry about lining up the shots. In post, all you have to do is set up the mask like normal, but this time just keyframe it to match with the camera movement, and this is the end result. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which editing breakdown you'd like to see next, and click here to watch another video.